Hey guys, this is Junior Creator, and in this video, we are taking a look at QQQ, SPY, as well as the broader indices. We'll do in depth analysis on these, and then we'll also take a look at the tech stocks that is Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta, and Netflix. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. And please remember, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Alrighty, let's start off with QQQ. So, right off the bat, we can see that across the board we are bearish now we okay i do want to add just something on my indicator real quick um and i know i should have it way before even i start my videos but apologies for that so i want to bring in one more level into yeah consideration some of the levels down here so i just did some um date adjustment on my indicator there Alrighty, so guys what we are doing with QQQ? Well, every time, so this is, okay, let's start off a little bit in the background today. Let's talk about it here. So as this QQQ was making its way up, what I was talking about back then is, hey, QQQ is gonna tap out. Like it's never gonna, it's it's gonna be double top, guys, because why? Like I can even show you on the weekly interval as what we were talking about back then. So here's the thing right so this is what i was talking about that this is going to be a double top for months and years to come ahead in my opinion because look at this the quantitative easing that happened during 2020 it led to this sudden spike that was so unusual we did a valley and it's a double top guys a huge one and we will be going down so this is what we were covering right now can can it change its course well that's what where we do the technical analysis with the levels so right now as per the price action if i go back to the daily interval as per the price action right now i'm not seeing any of the confirmation to the upside you can see we are forming lower highs and every time we form lower high we are testing the same level right over here at 353. now when a level is tested over and over again in the in this case which is the level of pretty much 354 351 well 351 to 354 right the third time usually it breaks right either it should be making higher highs or something like in the vicinity of you know higher than at least previous high right it didn't do that so yes there's a likelihood of we breaking this coming next week and we are also below 20 and 50 days moving average. So any bounce to the upside is a candidate to be shorted. And even if we see a rebound but can't make a higher high, you expect downside. And we will test 200 days moving average. Now, that's where another first bounce at 200 days moving average we might expect to see. But my hunch is that by the end of the year, might be 313, we might be coming down there. Just my hunch, looking at the price section right now, you know, uh, but definitely testing $334 level by the end of the year is very playable on QQQ, all right? We can take a look at hourly interval as well. And as I'm doing the hourly interval on QQQ, let me adjust a few settings on my indicator. And let's do it low. All righty, so over here with QQQ, what we have as for the recent price action, is well um this area as we are talking about 350 if this breaks it's over right also guys any rebound even if it comes let's say up to the level of you know any of these 200 hours moving average but i would be careful anywhere even 360 dollars level at one of our level that expect some rejection you know um that's where you know i would be still watching because it's still on the downside so don't just because if it starts going up tomorrow doesn't don't start thinking that QQ is bullish suddenly, right? Because if your sentiment is bullish, any green candle you would see, you would think that, oh yeah, it's going up now, right? And same for the bears. Like if if you are bearish and things is going against you, any one red candle you would see, your mind will go like, oh yes, this is the time it's gonna start going down, right? But um, market doesn't really know what type of positions we have, right? To be honest, it's just in our mind. So yeah, so this is with QQQ. Let's take a look at SPY. So SPY is in a danger zone because 
it is it has broken below this 200 days moving average and closed below that now this is a big deal on spy yes there are fake you know breakouts or breakdowns in this case i should say well if you are not seeing a ugh, sorry guys if you are not seeing a green candle come the next day very next day and we see another red candle like shooting straight down that turns by bearish then any rebound even will be shorted on it now any chance of bullishness onto it well it has to get above this 20 days moving average first of all well right now there is no sign of bullishness on spy because spy is just about to test this 420 the recent low and it has been also forming lower highs right so nothing really makes it bullish right now there is more likelihood of it keep falling watch after it you know breaks the level of let's say 420 the next level you gotta be watching is 409 and after that i would say based on the price action is the 380 that will be a, quite a quite a dip um, similarly if i take you to the weekly interval with spy as well it's the same story just i covered as with nasdaq guys let's look at this quantitative easing that happened and whenever we have had recessions in the past as well market has dipped right so this is a double top on weekly level guys that it's in the formation so don't take it lightly okay um this is an important one and we have been calling out this throughout this year that hey this is gonna be a massive double top right so this is what it is guys um yeah this is pretty much with qqq and spy i'm not worried too much about the rsis right now right now across the board you can see on our indicator as well across different intervals we are bearish so and guys if this indicator you are interested in that marks these levels automatically gives you intraday levels as well trading levels as well you can even see the short volume percent on the daily levels you know all this stuff you can customize levels everything I even added one more functionality called the day trading levels plus it gives you more additional where the price action mostly react a lot on the day level as well it just adds more levels which are important and critical on your chart as well so if all this stuff you are interested in feel free to follow the link to my indicator in the paid in the description below and there is a patreon link down there okay Alrighty, so let's start taking a look at tech stocks now. So starting off with Apple. So uh, with Apple, guys, we have um, the sure it's well, yeah, it's been on the lower high spectrum, right? So on the day level, it's still going to the downside. Um, the next level on Apple we can expect is definitely 200 days moving average. If any bounce has to come, it should come at 200 days moving average, just like before, right over here. But right now, it is looking bearish and may continue to go down to 200 days moving average. And that's where you should expect if any bounce. If it breaks, then it will start becoming trading to the downside, the levels, right? So that's what you need to be watching then with Apple. I'm going to keep it very simple with Apple, okay? Microsoft so Microsoft okay let's take a look at the price action not too worried about the RSI some well more well it's technically looking bearish but what what I'm wanna well when I say bearish at least for intraday and swing but what I want to really focus on here is guys you can see this previous high recent previous high and here at this level of 332 there's just so much of price reaction rejecting this level right and shooting it down it finally crashed right so if it continues to now break let's say 20 and 50 days moving average the next level we can come down to is 316 and further below that is 309 and then 200 days moving average right now microsoft is also looking like it's gonna form this high just like we had it here right and eventually it's gonna keep going down so Right now we're in the distribution phase so price will be knocked up so that you know big hedge funds or investors or institutions can sell at the higher prices so this is what happens right all the liquidity is kept here so that you know price moves here selling starts happening and when they have all you know sold out there is no ones trying to sell here market makers don't have to have no incentive in moving up the price so you know the price goes down so it's collusion if well not necessarily okay it's not necessarily because the also the thing is that these like if 
let's say if we take market makers out of this theory the thing is also that if the liquidity is well if the orders are high over here it doesn't take much volume through the algorithms to just do small buying and bring the stock price up there and so that those orders can get filled right so that's also the thing right so sometimes even on low volume the stocks price can be manipulated to drive them to another place where there's high volume so and th those are all you know algorithms that does that alrighty um, let's take a look at Google now so Google technically guys is still bullish though yes it is running into its around the very place of the top resistance but Google is still forming some bullishness at least on daily level like as long as it stays above still 20 and 50 days moving average it has no room to go to the downside and if it goes then 129 and 6 cents is the level that you need to be watching on it okay so that's with google and guys anytime if you see if you find too many levels you know you can always adjust the timeline based on how much of you know recent price action or the levels you want to give weight to so for example with google where the price action is right now maybe i don't want to see more than before this area right so you can just adjust the settings on my indicator and it will give and that way you would know what are the recent price action that you need to be giving importance to right so yeah alrighty guys um that's that now let's take a look at well yeah google i want to keep it simple let's take a look at amazon amazon is in the downtrend across the board we are bearish as well uh, Amazon has a room to fall down to 200 days moving average very simple if that breaks that $110 I think the line of def last line of defense which I don't think will hold is 123 looking at the price action right now taking a look at meta all right so meta is an interesting one here guys so um, it has formed this double top lately however however okay this was the level that I was talking about 312 the strong one now we have dipped below that but technically meta still has a lot of buying power happening around this area of 295 and so 50 days move unless and until it's not breaking below 50 days moving average meta can still turn itself around um well but am i buying at these levels no i'm not buying at these levels let's take a look at hourly interval on meta here um yeah so this was the area that i was talking about you know this zone 311 all the way down to 306 so meta technically has still found some support there at one of the levels now if it falls 306 and come down to 300 dollars then yes it will become more confident to start breaking to the downside now okay so then 288 and that will be the final break then to the level of uh, around the level of 274 but yeah um, so on hourly interval though technically meta has gotten bearish okay so any rebounds you can cry shorting at well this was also the area technically um, because it broke and then you know start using the overhead resistance 316 uh, but yeah this is the consolidation that we were seeing okay support but then it formed a lower high and then it broke then it continues to go down so yes technically it's bearish so the levels you need to be watching is you know 306 299 288 with your stop loss on the other side um but yeah this is still a zone of good consolidation guys so you have to be just careful okay um uh, you know that's just extra confirmation we've got to be watching but if you want to be ahead of the curve you can just play with the levels level by level with the moving averages but i already gave you the levels that you need to be watching okay netflix so netflix turned itself around post earnings and this thing gapped up um this is the only one that is looking bullish it, right now it's in the cool off mode um but the thing is that with netflix let's talk about it on daily level yes we have this now gap it has made itself bullish suddenly and again break of 411 may push it more to the upside to 443. their earnings were really great their outlook is looking really great so Technically sentiment is to the upside, but the market is to the downside, right? So what you need to be watching is that any time, like the pretty much the play with these type of moves, guys, is that you gotta be watching the sentiment on the daily level, first of all. 
it is telling me that it's above still 50 days moving average so as long as it keeps holding the support sure an upside more can come right so but you are seeing that it's also rejecting at 411 dollars so you have to see if it breaks out continues to the upside if it breaks below 50 days moving average is the play to the downside now where to the downside only i would say up to 20 and 200 days moving average so this area that's it if it breaks below the low of the candle because after gaps and when the consolidation starts happening of such sort you have to take the high and the low of the candle that's the only best way to trade these gaps because te technicals are still forming right taking a look at hourly interval um what we have here is now this is where it's getting interesting that a cool off as is my indicator is also telling and very well likely that may happen because of the gap that happens so cool off is intended as i said again like if it stays below 20 hours moving average you can trade it down to the level of 386 but that's where it would be it and that's where i think 20 and 200 days moving averages as well continues to break above 410 or even stays above 20 hours moving average is also an upside play so you have to trade by this level and the break on either side okay guys with netflix this is all for this video guys i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe get access to my indicator by following the link in the description and i'll see my next video guys take care bye